Addison gives you easy ways to work with 5.1 surround sound and one of the cool features is that you can take a regular audio, use an interactive feature to make it a 5.1 surround sound. In order to do, in order to do that, I'm going to create a new multi-track session right here and I'm going to select 5.1 and I'm going to press OK and yes. So over here, once I select 5.1, you can see that there's this circle right here. And I'm going to drag any uh, stereo music right here. Let me load that out. And it is loading, uh, converting uh, the sample. And while I do that, I'm gonna double click over here. So once I double click, you can see that the track banner opens up. You can also go over here and then enable the track banner if you don't see that. So right now you can see that there's the dot right here and this denotes where the sound comes from. This is the center speaker, the left speaker, right speaker, uh, left rear speaker and right rear speaker right here. So you can see by default it is over here and let us play that out. So now this is a regular stereo audio and you can see that this is where the sound is coming from. As I were to move it towards the center, it only plays from the center speaker and you can also see that from uh, the audio level right here. So I can tra go drag this to the left, the right and to the back speakers totally towards the back speakers or front speakers. So you can see that this is quite interactive. All right, so right now it does not record anything I do, but what I want to do is I want to record this and then make sure that it tracks every movement. In order to do that, I can go on to over here on to read and I can simply say write. I can also go optionally to the mixture and then select write over here. So now I'm going to simply play that out and once I move, everything will be recorded. All right, so I moved uh, it like crazy and it is now converted into touch. And once I play it and then move it, it still records and overwrites everything out. All right, so once I do that, you can see on the envelope side, if I were to choose all this, you can see all these crazy keyframes that has been actually done because I actually moved this and recorded this. So if I were to play this out, you can see that this move as well. <laughs> And that is how you work with 5.1 surround sound and easily add keyframes to it. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.